Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, for the review, we're going to be calling this guy Low, okay? Or Lau, Low. We're going to call him Low, okay? So guys, with Low, we're taking a look at a card who is three-star skills, three-star weak foot, left-footed, five-foot, nine with a lean body type. So guys, with a card like this in the left-back position, he's already starting off hot, in my opinion, okay? So with him, guys... He's going to be working with 99 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, which is awesome, okay? Very, very important to have for this game. Uh, base card stats for shooting, he has 81 for shot power. So, obviously, for the attacking areas, you know, 81 shot power is decent with 86 attacking positioning. But, like I said, guys, most of these cards, you usually use them on stay back while attacking nowadays anyway. So, not, not necessarily a big deal there. Uh, base card stats for passing is very good on the card, except for curve, right? Curve in some cases is nice to have guys i'll be honest it is i'm not gonna say that it isn't right with the passing curve low and composure low if he's put under pressure sometimes it could present to be an issue for certain passes but if the short passing and the long passing instead of the way that it is it's not a bad for a gameplay objective card to be honest guys because look man his dribbling stats for a fullback is really really nice considering the fact that he's a five foot nine player with a lean body type so we will be taking a look at that in game uh, base card stats for defense is not crazy. His defensive awareness is at an 80. But like I said, as a fullback, that's really not that big of a deal, right? It really isn't. It's just that obviously because it's a high medium work rate, defensive awareness at an 80 can be low from time to time in certain situations, right? But for a gameplay objective card, a card that has a shadow chemistry on him with sliding tackles this high, standing tackles this high, interceptions, that's actually in a decent area too. You really can't go wrong with that, right? And then last but not least for physical stats, the card is working with 74 for aggression with the perfect pace in the card, right? He's going to have 82 for stamina. So, guys, here's the thing, man. Defensive awareness is annoying if your players tend to go more into the middle area and they leave that side a little bit open, right? But... The thing is, man, is that like you, you'll catch these things really quickly when you're defending with these cards anyways, right? So on stay back while attacking, I don't think it's necessarily going to be a huge issue, okay? So with this card, guys, we will be experimenting with him in the left back position. He's going to be on stay back while attacking, but uh, we'll find some opportunities with him where we attack from time to time. But it's mostly going to see what his defensive capabilities are like, right? Because here's the thing, man. Shadow chemistry style boosting the standing tackles and sliding tackles to be this high, in my opinion, is really cool to work with, okay? So, um, yes, uh, you know, defensive awareness is low, but he's good in the interception, the standing tackles and sliding tackles apartment. So, hopefully, that should be good enough for him to be a defensive beast in-game. So, yeah, we'll try him out. Hopefully, he is a beast. Who is that? Lau Lo? All right, low. I'll take it, bro. I'll allow you, my brother. I'll allow you. It's a good tackle there, though. From behind as well. Outrun your opponent. Eventually, you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Let's go. That was a good trick. A good tackle, actually. Listen, I did a bad play right there, but the build up was good. The build up was good. Back back quickly. There you go. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. No. Oh, the dribbling now. Oh, so you got to do better than that, my G. Heading is uh, pretty random if you don't have, like, heading accuracy. It should be better, but, like, I mean, it is what it is. Oh! Hey, man, he put him off balance. I'll take it. Really 
Oh, yeah, the possession-based challenges, you know, I uh, don't mind it, I don't mind it. I'm gonna commit him here a little bit, because it's a little bit of pressure, you know? I'm gonna commit this guy over here. There we go, work some space. Like we're on switch, no. I'm gonna commit here, hello. Sayonara, have a great life, thank you, sir. Oh, I, no, 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 ball roll, what are you doing, hello. Delay EA, let's go. Oh, I love that reach. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Let's go low. Oh, sorry guys. This delay is really irritating me, man. It's it's been really bad the last two weeks, like in the daytime. Nice. Just have to hold that position. I was like, please don't do a lot pass on me. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the low card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, the Shadow Chemistry style is definitely going to make the most sense for this card at a 99 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, okay? It's very important to give him these stats, guys, because this card defensively is actually pretty solid. He has some pretty good defensive animations from reaching from behind, uh, some of the standing tackles that he does, some of the sliding tackles that he does. Um, I actually really enjoyed using this card. A couple things that you notice when using him is you know a few things right like i notice i will say when it comes to the dribbling okay when he's under pressure i notice the 74 composure okay from time to time you do notice it but for a full bad guys it's really not that big of a deal because the dribbling stats that he has set up with five foot nine height and a lean body type in my opinion is decent enough it's funny because he has a lean body type but there are a lot of moments in game where he actually feels more physical oriented, right? Almost as if his body type is like above a lean, if that makes sense. Like it's not like an average or a stocky, but he just feels strong in some situations, right? And I feel like the reason why he feels strong is because of the pace, right? And it's it's just one of those things, guys. He feels strong because when you have pace that high and you can move into players really quickly, it's super ideal to work with, right? So for a gameplay objective guy, uh, guys, He's a very good left back to work with. English links as well is awesome because there's so many English links you're going to be able to work with in the future, even right now. Because here's the thing, right? With this card from some of the cards that we already reviewed, like Davies and all that kind of stuff, the, the perfect links, this is irrelevant, right? But it's the strong links, right? With this card, I'm going to show you guys from, from some of the gameplay objectives. So this Grants card, if you get him for fun and you link him in that center mid area, 4-3-3, boom, you get a strong link just like that, right? But it's more like these guys, right? So... It's more players like the Pask if you end up unlocking him, Davies if you get him as a gameplay objective, Laurent, right? Because Laurent, all you need with Laurent, right, is one more English link. You already have that double link between him and, and the low card, right? So that's awesome to work with. Uh, anything else here? No. That's the main thing that people are going to see. I'm not crazy about the Laurent card, personally, but he's decent enough in the meta of the gameplay because he's high, high work rates, all that good stuff. So if you want to use him and you want to get an easy link in that area, it's pretty cool because that one green direct link actually allows you to put another English player next to him and then just work off of that. Like if you want to have some fun and you want to put Oxford in your team, you could totally do that. Although I don't recommend it because Oxford is a little bit sussy, but uh, you could do you could do something like that if you really wanted to, right? So for a gameplay objective card, like I said, guys, he's very cool to work with. Uh, especially because of the links you can work with. Weak links, this is a pretty generic stuff, right? It's just the English guys um, that you have up against him. Uh, when it comes to English players, let's see what we have here. English players left back. Ashley Cole is the only one. Chilwell, he's the best English left back in the game. Yeah. He's the best English left back in the game. Except for maybe Ashley Cole, because I never actually used the Ashley Cole card yet. Because he looks okay, to be honest, right? So from cards that you can even buy, I mean, there's no one you can buy except for Ben Chilwell, right? So if you want to work with those English links in your team, he's going to be one of those types of guys. So honestly, guys, you cannot go wrong with that. You can't. Because Ashley Cole on a shadow looks pretty solid, to be honest. He actually looks pretty sick. What's his work rates? High, medium work rates as well. Five foot nine. Yeah, but that's an icon card, right? An icon card that's 188k, 233k, or 232k, right? So it's just it's it's one of those cards where you have to buy it, but a gameplay objective that's easy to unlock, like 
you honestly can't go wrong with it for a card that's actually pretty sick to use in game so yeah another get another good gameplay objective card in my opinion um i enjoyed using him for what he was honestly as a left back he's pretty solid so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys